Links don't have to be text. You can also use an image or part of an image as a link. In the exercises site, I've opened image underscore links dot HTML. You can find a copy of this file in the folder for this lesson in the Using Text and Images as Links folder of the course assets. In this lesson, I'm going to use this image of a seagull as a link, and I'll show you how to get rid of the blue border that Internet Explorer puts around images that are used as links. In a separate lesson, I'll show you how to create an image map, designating certain areas of a larger image as hotspots to convert them into links. To use a whole image as a link, it's the same as with text. Basically, you select it and then add the link. So let's select that image of the seagull. In the property inspector is a link field. And if you're linking to a local file, you can use the point to file or browse for file icons. For an external file, you need to paste the URL in the link field. I've got a URL in this text file here, which is in the folder for this lesson. Let's just copy that and then paste it into the link field and press tab to ensure that it's inserted in the underlying HTML. Then just save the page and we'll test it in a browser. Go to this globe icon here and preview in Google Chrome. The image looks exactly the same as before, but as you mouse over it, the pointer changes to a hand indicating that it's a link. And if I click, it takes me to the URL that I inserted in the link field. But let's see what happens with Internet Explorer. Click that globe icon again, preview in Internet Explorer, and the image is surrounded by a blue border. In the past, all browsers added a blue border around an image that was used as a link. The idea was to show that the image is being used as a link, but using images as links is now so common, most browsers no longer put this blue border around it. But this is Internet Explorer 10, and it still does it. To get rid of that blue border, you need to create a style rule. So let's go back to Dreamweaver. I'll just close the Files panel for the moment. And I'm creating the styles for this page embedded in the head. So select Style in the Sources pane, and then need to create a new selector. And that selector will be A space IMG. This is a descendant selector that targets all images that are wrapped inside A tags, in other words, being used as links. And we need to go to the border section, which is that third icon here in the properties pane. Scroll down and find border style. Open that menu, select none, and then we just save the page again. Go back to Internet Explorer, reload the page, and that border has gone. And this style rule doesn't affect other browsers. All it's doing is making Internet Explorer work the same way as other browsers. So to use an image as a link, just select the image and insert the link in the link field in the property inspector. And to prevent Internet Explorer adding a blue border around image links, create a descendant selector in your style sheet, A space IMG, and set the border style to none.